17-year-old Catholic Central High School student is behind bars and accused of multiple counts of sexual assault against fellow students. We brought you this first as breaking news at 6 o'clock tonight, and we're getting more on the story this evening. The teenager was arrested in the school parking lot Friday, and at least two 15-year-old girls say he forced himself on them in the high school. 24-Hour News 8's Martin Dieters has talked to the school police and to the mother of one of the victims. He's with us now in studio to break down the story. Barton. Well, Leon, police and jail records confirm the 17-year-old is charged with four counts of criminal sexual conduct, less than first degree, which is the most serious charge. He still faces a maximum of 15 years in prison if he's convicted on these charges. We're at the home of one of the girls who says she was pushed into the boys' room at Catholic Central and groped, kissed, and her assailant tried to reach into her underwear. We are protecting the identity of the alleged victim and her mother. Do you know how shaken my faith has been since yesterday? Do you know I have not slept one minute since yesterday? We were there when the mom was called by a school counselor. The mother believes the school failed her daughter. That you dropped the ball. You dropped the ball with him. You dropped the ball with communicating it to me. You dropped the ball with contacting authority. You dropped the ball with taking care of my child. Today, the district sent a letter to parents confirming the assaults had taken place against the girls and said someone had been arrested. Police records show that a 17-year-old is in the Kent County Jail on four counts of felony sexual assault. The victim mom says her daughter was assaulted on Wednesday but did not report until Friday after she found out a fellow classmate, also a 15-year-old girl, had suffered a similar but worse assault on Monday. The mom said when she got to the school Friday afternoon after she was contacted by administrators, police were not there and did not arrive until after she called and talked to police personnel who said they knew nothing of it. A spokesperson for the Catholic Diocese of Grand Rapids, which oversees the schools, says police were immediately contacted after they were made aware of the assaults. Police say they received the call from the schools first before the mom called. Still, the mother is upset that while her daughter was being interviewed by school officials and police, the suspect went about his day, only to be arrested as he left at the end of the school day. They didn't protect my daughter. They protected the rapist, not my daughter. They protected their reputation, not my daughter. School records show that the suspect transferred to Catholic Central this year as a junior. The mom said her daughter is devastated, humiliated, scared to return to school. I want him to pay. Pay for my daughter's hurt. I want him to pay for the other girl's hurt. I want him to pay for my family's hurt. I want him to pay for my hurt. Now, the suspect is being held in the regular Kent County Jail, not juvenile detention, according to jail records. The court records also show that he is held as an adult, awaiting authorization from the prosecutor for charges. He'll likely be arraigned Monday morning. In studio, Barton Dieters, 24-Hour News 8.